I've seen Big Red now, and I saw, we saw Arthur, or I saw Arthur, on the throne. Hello. We'll, uh, we'll move. Hello. Ooh, something smells. Not me. Sorry, I missed that. I was looking around uh, to see if I can find somebody else. So, uh, this one is here. This is a juvenile, and then we have their mother, Big Red, up here. And, oh, Arthur is no longer on the throne. Hello. Yes, uh, there's, if you want to come, I'll show you. We've got one in this tree over here. Uh, so I can't really show you very well, but it's, um, Here, unfortunately, I can't show you. No, that's all right. Uh, I, I saw one the, um, around noon when I got and here. And their mother is see the top of Bradfield Hall. As far left as you can go on uh -huh. the very. Do you see oh, her? Oh, is that her on the mm -hmm. edge? Ah, oh, that's so cool. And their their father was up on. Let me just show you where he was. Uh, their father was up here. This is on Bradfield Hall. This is known as the throne. And he was there as I was driving in, but I don't know where he is now. The throne. <laughs> and, oh, there's another one. Oh, On wow. Bruckner Hall. How cool. I love this. Um, I love birds. And I work at Man, and I saw the younger one out here earlier. And I was talking to my colleague, and she goes, there's these two people coming and taking pictures. So, If you want. That's very cool. I was going to ask. Um, yeah. You can see what I'm seeing. Either scan that one on the right or type in that address mm -hmm. and you'll see what I'm seeing. I'm streaming right now. No, no, you're okay. You're okay. So this was... Uh, and there, there's a little bit of a delay. Uh -huh. uh, just that's the way cellular works. But I mean, oops. Um, so I don't know which is which, but this one I think was in on, you know, on the building and was standing up and now decided to go and rest uh, yeah. there. Now the other one is still up there, but, oh yeah, you see it? Yeah, it's, he's definitely just still having a hard time, I think, learning how to balance himself. Well, do you know how to fly? That's a great question. He's there, see? I'm still learning. <laughs> I haven't mastered it yet. <laughs> and again, I don't know where their father is now. They'll stay in the area for a bit, but they start to expand more and more the, uh, the, the area they'll cover, and eventually they'll, they'll leave the area. Did you work for, or you can tell me if I'm distracting you. Oh, no, no, not at all. I, do I work for the lab? No. Uh, I just, uh, I'm just having fun. I've been doing this yeah. for a long time. Yeah. I love this stream. And, uh, and there's a chat room also. Uh, on the car? Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, it's it's part of the it's part oh, yeah. of the uh, the stream. Yeah. So we'll try to get a little closer to this one. So do you go all the way around, all around Tompkins County, or is it just like a hobby for animal Oh, it's it's you know I go to mostly a few different places. Every once in a while I'll do something different, but I like I'm here on the campus now. And this is where a lot of my streaming really started here in Sapsucker Woods. Mm -hmm. Do you know where that is? Yep. Okay. And um, so I was just there actually. Yeah. And, uh, and, and then came here uh, hoping to see the hawks. And, uh, but I also go to Montezuma. Do you know where that is? Yeah, I actually went about two months ago. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that happens. Um, in fact, it just happened a couple weeks ago, too. Uh, but it, it is what it is. 
and uh, but you can still you know you're still able to go on like wildlife drive and uh, other areas and like wildlife drive will close for winter you know uh, usually December 1st it's closed and it doesn't reopen until April 1st weather permitting but there are a lot of other places to go up there uh -huh. and it's it's definitely worth it yeah. um, to you know oh here here we go wait a minute where are you there you are. Kind of. See it? Yeah, much better through your camera. Wow. Thanks for letting me. Oh, my pleasure. Work, and thanks for having me in your card. I've definitely checked all this. Absolute pleasure. Great to meet you. Nice meeting you. Good luck. Take care. There we go. Look at that beautiful bird. So we've seen everybody. Uh, well, I haven't shown you Arthur, and I don't know where he is, but we've seen everybody uh, tonight. Something still reeks here. Something's rotted. Smells like, I don't know, like, is it skunk cabbage? I don't know. Let's get a little closer to this one. Uh-oh. Kind of sleepy. Yes, kind of sleepy. You know, being cute is a lot of hard work. Uh, I think I'm hearing, yeah, I'd love to see them one of these days, chimney swifts up above us. Often hear and see them here. Look at that face. <laughs> I think this one was vocalizing too a moment ago. Oh, hold on. Hi, Arthur. Good to see you.
What a beautiful evening. It really is. Still see him. He okay. He just flew uh, on the other side of Rice Hall. Uh, let's and he's out of my view right now. He must have seen something. Where did he go? We can go. Let's see if we can go catch up with him. I can't see through buildings yet. Um, so I don't know exactly where he was, but then all of a sudden I saw him in flight and being chased by somebody. Okay, out of my view and into the into this tree here and I'm hoping I'm gonna stay here uh, I could try to go see it but I think that would be a mistake my guess is it well I may be wrong but I have a feeling it'll try to move up I could be wrong So they're in the same tree, I think. Oh, yep, see? I knew it. Hi. Hello. Blue Jack.
There it is. Let me leave it there for a moment and look with the... Oh, okay. Here we go. Just flew up here. They're beautiful. <laughs> All right. Um, let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try doing some real walking here. Maybe. Maybe not. Lighten it just a bit. They're a little closer to get. Hey, right. closer together. Closer. That's better. Come on, a little more, a little more. I don't know who is who. One is in one, one is in two. It's good to see them both. Where are they? They're in a tree in front of Ferno Hall, or I should say the Ferno Lawn. No, you stay there. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I hear somebody. Oh! I just saw an adult in flight. Uh, over my head. Or, I'm sorry, to my right. Uh, yep, here we go. Hi, Arthur. He just flew over Fer over Ferno Hall, and uh, and landed. He's on rice right now. He looks like he's got a little morsel hanging from his mouth. And you hear that something's there. He looks like he might be heading towards Bradfield. How about the other one in the tree here? The one at the upper perch. Now, I don't know if... I don't know if, if they never moved or if maybe the one on the upper perch was on the lower perch. But now, 
is on Rice Hall. And I think it seemed like there might be something there. And I did see some mantling. Yeah, there's something there. could get closer but then our angle will get worse and worse so especially because it's in a little ways from the edge of the roof of, or the patio or whatever you want to call it and let's look up at our other one hungry maybe Big Red's still up on Bradfield Hall she hasn't budged We have this end, actually this view is a little bit better, here in one of the trees. And I, and I guess people are saying this is probably N2? I don't know. Uh, in, and a tree on, in the fernal lawn, and then here on Rice Hall is what I guess is N1, eating, uh, eating something that Arthur and one's father just dropped off moments ago. <clears throat> I'm guessing that Big Red will be moving uh, in the near future. It's getting dark. And judging by the way he was flying, now he may have, obviously he could have changed direction, but it seemed like Arthur might have been heading for Bradfield Hall. A lower perch, not not the not the not the elevation that Big Red is on. Definitely hear a gray catbird, and I'm hearing American robins. It's getting dark. We can't see, obviously, what's going on exactly up there, but it does seem to, obviously, it's still eating. Uh, did she change a bit? Oh, yeah. I have a feeling, I mean, she takes off, there's a good chance I'll lose track of her in, almost immediately. Just given my uh, field of view for her.
Hello. Hey. What do you got? Oh, bird up there. That's a red-tailed hawk. Oh, yeah? And in this pine tree over here, uh -huh. there's another red-tailed hawk. Really? Near the top of it. And on top of Rice Hall there, another red-tailed hawk. Really? Uh, well, here, I'll give you a quick look. If you want to look this up here, she's about to take off probably. Her name is Big oh, Red. Oh, wow. Ah, huh, nice. And, uh, and then here's one in this tree. Oh, yeah, wow. Uh, designated as N2. Yeah, I see it. And then here's one on top of Rice Hall. Oh, get out. It looks like a little hen up there or something. Well, it's, it's the way it yeah. looks, and it's eating up there. Do you see and it? its father, its father uh, just dropped off food. That's what it's eating now. Oh, wow. What its father dropped off. One second here. Wow. Oh, man, that's amazing. What kind of lens do you got on there? That's a scope, actually. Oh, okay. And if you want to see what I'm seeing better, uh, scan that. Okay. And I'm streaming live right now. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. And I don't know where their father is. I suspect I know, but I don't know for certain. That's very cool. Are you giving these cards away? Mm-hmm. Oh, awesome. Thanks for showing me. I oh, my it. pleasure. My pleasure. Take care. So back up to Big Red. Only because I suspect she's going to be leaving shortly. And if she does, uh, my, sus my suspicion is, like I said, I'll, I'll lose track of her almost immediately. Uh, because... Um, I've got between the trees and Ferno Hall and the flight path I, I suspect she'll take anyway. She'll probably... F see? <laughs> she'll probably fly uh, back down to Bradfield if I had to guess. So uh, I don't see her and I'm not surprised. Although I wouldn't be surprised if she were to fly to one of the, um, the lighting towers and then eventually return back. Uh, but I, I haven't seen her, um, so we'll we'll uh, we'll make our way towards to Tower Road in a moment. In the meantime, now this one on Rice Hall, uh, I would almost guarantee. Well. I can't, I'm not going to guarantee, but I'm, my suspicion is it won't stay there. It will be moving. Seem to have a well, still it's still eating. It's a great cat bird you're hearing. Well, maybe it didn't get that down. I think it wants to get it down and then take flight, but you know it's not. It's not having an easy time of it. That's my my guess. I think it wants to finish and then uh, and then fly to a roosting spot. Um, let's look up very quickly. Oh, there we go. Still here in the in the 
in the tree in front of Ferno. And look at all those bugs. And I have, oops, sorry, I have no adults in sight at the moment. And I don't expect to have any in sight. Uh, unless Big Red, for instance, or Arthur flew to, uh, you know, one of the tower lights or something and were to, you know, come back towards Bradfield. And I, I, I find that unlikely anyway, but unless that were to happen, I might catch a glimpse in the air, but that's it. It's kind of nice to tuck everybody in, though. Song Sparrow. Uh, we're looking, I think we're looking done. Might be a little bit left, yeah, I mean, maybe. Hang a robin and a catbird. The one in the pine is still in the pine, I think. Just took a quick peek. I saw that. Okay, uh, this is the same tree as the other end from behind. Oh, hold on. Hi, Big Red. I'll bet she's wanting, she just is checking to see if anything's left. How much you want to bet? Hmm? How much you want to bet? She wants to make sure the kids eat everything that, that is put on their plates. You know, I, I say that in semi-jest, actually, because we've seen her teach them and to, you know, it seems uh, when we've seen her teaching that they want, or their, her, I should say, the you know, in prior years, we've seen her teach and uh, try to, push the, the young to be a little bit more aggressive sometimes. And, you know, when they've had food, for instance, just sitting there, and they were just sitting around not doing anything, she would, okay, now out of my view, she would, I'm guessing she's heading to Bradfield now, uh, she would, uh, you know, try to take it and kind of let them try to take it back from her. All right, we're going to move and we're going to go check on Bradfield. Okay, this looks like Big Red, I believe. And nobody else is here. And we're going to, um, we're going to walk around a bit.
everyone, I want to wish you all a very good night. We'll say good night to Arthur together. It's been a nice day. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have.